Darn! 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 Now where is he? Darn, when are you gonna grow up? You pick up those tools from town like I told you? Um, I thought I'd do that tomorrow. No, I need them in the morning. You get into town right now. Yes, sir. Hurry home, Torrin. Don't be late for dinner. Okay, Mom. This isn't what I want in life. I should be a hero. Heroes don't run errands. Right, Boogle? Hey, Boogle. Boogle! Asleep again? Ah, oh, Boogle. Is this all my life will ever be? Running errands to this little town? I just... I just don't want to live my life without ever having lived my life. What happened? I saw it. I saw everything. Who are you? What are you doing here? I was just passing by when all that started. I was so scared I hid behind your barn. Who could have done this? It must have been one powerful sorcerer. Or... Sorceress. Why? And who around here has such power? No one I know, but once there was such a person. But no, Licentia's been gone for years. Licentia? Who's Licentia? Oh, I don't think it could possibly be her. She was banished to the lands below years ago. The lands below? She must have been evil to be sent there. Yes, and there's no way you could ever find her down there. I know what I'll do. I'll find this Licentia and force her to release my parents. I'm sure you will. Here. Come here. 
Banshee. for something. of emergency break glass. What could that mean? Oh, nice blue color, eh, Boogle? Yeah, what's that? Uh, you rang? Huh? Who are you? Where'd you come from? What are you doing there? You trying to sneak by me? Oh, I wasn't asleep, no sir. I heard you come through. Well, I wasn't trying to sneak by you. I'm Torin, and I really need to get to the lands below. Can you help me? The lands below? You one of them? Well, you can't stay up here. You go right back down where you came from. Yep, nobody from down there gets past me, and you won't neither. Oh no, you misunderstand. I'm not from the lands below. I want to go there. So, you do know how to get there? Go there? Why, no one goes there. That's no place for any self-respecting citizen. Why, them worlds is filled with nutsos, malcontents, psychos, politicians. No, there's no way I'd let you go down there. So you do know? Oh, please help me, sir. I must get to the lands below. May I come inside? Nope, no way. Nobody gets inside this guardhouse except my replacement. Don't know where he is either. Was supposed to be here 10, maybe 12 years ago. Never been this late before. No, you gotta go. Get out of here and don't come back. Halt! Who goes there? Um, it's me. I'm... <clears throat> I'm your replacement. What? You are? Finally, it's about time. You must be ten years late. Where have you been? Uh, heavy traffic. Huh? Well, whatever. Hurry up and get inside here. I am powerful hungry. Uh, okay. Hmm. Can't say I much care for the new uniforms.
Okay. Uh, started what? Don't they teach you young'uns anything at basic anymore? Well, maybe, but, uh, I wasn't exactly at the top of my class, you know? Hmm, I can see that. Don't tradition mean nothing no more? What's your generation coming to? Say, where's your provisions? Provisions? Well, I, uh, uh... My meal, boy, my meal. You know the core tradition. Before taking over, the replacement guard always cooks the departing guard his final meal. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, I knew that. Uh, yeah, that's still taught to all of us. What is it you'd like, exactly? You mean you didn't bring it with you? Well, you won't find no home fort comforts out here. It's your problem, not mine. I know what I want. Exactly what do you want for your last meal? Last meal? I ain't dead yet. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in here? Are you my replacement? Oh, brother, why, yes, I am your replacement. You know, there's a tradition that the new guard prepares the departing guard's meal, so I'm gonna fix yours. Dang right I know, and I know what I want. Hope you brought it with you. What'll you have? For my appetizer, I want juice. Berry juice. Freshly squeezed. None of that can crap either. Berry juice, huh? I brought you some berries. Great. Now squeeze them. What? Oh, all right. Uh, where's the juicer? I told you, over there, on the cabinet. Boogle, can you be an axe? Here you go. Say, uh, what kind of berries are those? Why, chuck berries, of course. <laughs> ah, that tastes great. But now I'm getting a little hungry. Oh, brother. You know what I really miss? I'm kind of afraid to hear. Slaghetti and peat balls. Slaghetti and peat balls? Don't you mean spaghetti and meatballs? Ain't never heard of no such thing as that. Say, you sure you're from around here, boy? No, no. Slaghetti and peat balls is exactly what I crave. Oh, okay. I'll fix it for you. What's in it? Why, slugs and peat bars, what do you think? Mm, I'll be sure to round up just enough for one meal.
getting off that rope than reaching for your bag. Now how am I going to get my bag? Boogle, stop! What? Boogle? You mean this whole time you could have walked right out on that bog? Only when it's funny, huh? I'll only when it's funny you. better to do? Staring at snails? Well, I, uh, no, actually. Wait, hey, I have a lot to do, but who are you? Who are we? Who in the Tenebris are you? Yeah, who are you? I'm Torin. Torin Farman. Farmhand? Yeah, you look like a farmhand. <laughs> farmhand. Good one, Slim. Thanks, Slime. I five! All right! Slim and Slime, you guys seem different from the others I've met around here. Different? You bet we're different. Yeah, what do you think? You're talking to just another couple of snails? Yeah, you're quite a pair. Why, that's right. We are a pair. <laughs> a pair! Good one, Slim! Thanks, Slime. I five! Say, guys, could you help me with those slugs over there on the next tree? I can't even get close to them. How can I trap them? Trap them? Yeah, you could. If you had bait. And we know just what they like, don't we, Slime? Sure do, Slim. But we can't tell you, Torin Farmhand. Why not? I'm honest, trustworthy, sincere. Oh, it's not that. Nah, it's because you haven't done anything for us yet. What could I do for you? Help us turn over a new leaf. <laughs> turn over a new leaf. Good one, Slim. Thanks, Slime. I five. All right. While I'm not totally unfamiliar with 12-step programs... <laughs> That's not what I meant by turn over a new leaf. What he meant was, we need a new leaf to practice our pair's figure sliming. Yeah, a big leaf. 
A really big leaf. You know, something with style. Class. Chlorophyll. Gretzen. Something to give us that competitive edge. Something that will put us over the top, slime-wise. Yeah, you got anything like that? So, if I can find you a really big leaf... We'll tell you everything you always wanted to know about slugs. But we're afraid to ask. Which is more than you know now. Sure. So, if I... We'll tell... But we're... Which is... Sure. Nice call. Thanks, Inchy. That's Mr. Worm to you. Hey, come back here. Hmm. Now, which one is it? Oh, not again. Gotcha. Oops. Yuck. Uh, hey, Boogle, get that, will ya? This is the biggest leaf in all the woods. You? You did? You brought us a leaf? Yep, and here it is. Now tell me about those slugs. How can I capture them? Ooh, nice texture. Nice structure. Good size. Professional markings. Okay, it's a deal. Yep, done deal. You want a high five? Uh, no thanks, no. Your loss. Okay, here you go. Slugs love scum. Yeah, pond scum is good. Nah, you can have your pond scum. Bog scum, now that's the best. Bog scum? No, definitely moat scum. That's what you want. Oh yeah, moat scum is choice. Too bad you can't get it. What do you mean, can't get it? I know where the moat is. Yeah, you know where, but do you know what? <laughs> like, what's in that moat? Oh yeah, croctopus, and lots of them. Wouldn't lots of them be crock the pie? Crock the pie, crock the pusses, don't matter. You'll never get close enough to the water to get scum from the moat. Wait a minute. Didn't you say you were going to the Moat Olympics? Yeah, why? Well, if I took you over there, would you help me get some moat scum? Slim, what do you think? Okay by me. Better than crawling. Okay, big boy, let's go moatin'. Here, hop on your leaf. Hmm, 
that tree is just covered with exotic, high-speed, caffeine-laced slugs. Crystal City, it's still impressive. Here we are, boys, the site of the next Moat Olympics. I hope you win the gold medal. Thanks, Torin. You're okay, for such a dry person. Yeah, thanks. And in return, I'll put in a good word for you with some of my Croctopus friends. Good word? I don't need good words. I need moat scum, and plenty of it. Oh, you do, do you? And exactly where do you want it? Why, right up here. <laughs> Hey, Croc! Pass the boy some scum! I guess I'll just leave this delicious moat scum right here for a while. Now I'm gonna get you. Those slugs are so fast, I'll never catch them like this. If only I could make a trap. Make a box right over that moat scum? <laughs> That's it, Boog. Now we've got them. No more caffeine for you guys. Thank 
Thanks, Boogle. Exactly, do you want me to bring you? Peat moss, slugs, what are you, doll? Say, did I ever tell you the story about the last person I sent down? Uh, no, you didn't. I mean, uh, yes, yes, you did. So don't, okay? <laughs> I'm in a bit of a hurry, you see, so, uh. Sweet young thing, dang shame. They clamped that collar round her neck so tight she couldn't hardly breathe. And then, poop, she was gone. Couldn't ever come back home. Too bad. Huh, fascinating. Bye. <laughs> Sir, slugs and peat moss, just as you requested. But boy, did I have to go through a lot just to bring these to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You probably just walked around that cliff to the deli. What? You mean... <laughs> just a little guardhouse humor, boy. Ain't no food within days of this place. Now get over there in that kitchen and rattle them pots and pans. All right. But this is my first attempt at cooking such a delicacy. Well, at least it's quick to prepare. Here you are, monsieur. Bon appetit. Conclusion to a near perfect meal. Dessert. And a nice latte. Dessert? Latte? Oh, no. Oh, stop your griping. You can skip the latte. Just bring me some dessert. Huh. All right. What'll you have for dessert? Why, there's only one thing that'd top spaghetti and peat balls. I'm afraid to ask. Root. Yeah, let's make sure of something. If I prepare you a, a root, then will I be done? Bingo! Bright boy. Yep, good old root would be just fine. <laughs> square meal. This looks like the root. fix it? No, I'll just wait right here. Somehow I guessed as much. Say, 
Nice square shape, too. Them's the best kind. Okay, how about if I make it into a pie? Great! While that's in the oven baking, why don't you and I head back to the Phenocrest chamber? Ah, just smell that aroma. You know, there's nothing like coming home to find the square root pie. Phew! Say, uh, we going out on that joke? No, we're going out through the secret passage. Wait here while I get something. Pick a shard. Any shard. <laughs> I've been waiting 15 years to use that line. There you go, boy. The joint's all yours. I'm gonna grab my pie and hit the road. Gotta get on home, you know. <laughs> that is, if I can remember where home is. But wait, what about me? Aren't you supposed to train me in how this thing works? Works? Can't. Don't remember. Heck, it don't matter no way, boy. Nobody's come through here in years. But is this the way to the lands below? Could be. But you don't care. All you gotta do is make sure nobody from down there gets up here. That podium must be important to this huge crystal, or it wouldn't be protected by those giant stones. These stones are much too large to lower by hand. That podium must be important to this huge crystal, or it wouldn't... This powder must be important, but what if there isn't any of it in the lands below? I'd better find something to hold enough so I can get home again. I'd better get enough of this powder to last. If it does take me to the lands below, I'll need enough to get home again. Boog, hop in. Hang on, Boogle. I hope I'm right about this. Sir, they were both 
in there. And they're gone. And the child. Missing. The child must be found immediately. Whoa!